Hello there, welcome to some more Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Continue with part two of Nessie's Wedding. You all super hyped? Ho oh, ho! I'm hyped yeah. in the... Oh, I'm hyped right. in the name of Von Sepona time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Don't forget, with the death of this character, the thread of the prophecy is severed. And he must restart the game. <laughs> you may continue on in this doomed world, or <laughs> load a previous save. All right. <clears throat> Where did we leave off last time? I'm trying to recall. The son and the father in the tower. Mm -hmm. There was a fairly drawn-out brawl happening across various different areas. Yeah. Oh dear, what's I the... believe. <clears throat> Miss um, Ingrid uh, has uh, just left the bedroom of the bride to be, Nessia yeah. von Sapon. As I convinced her to stick around. Yeah, and not run off with her, and run off and elope with her, uh, her, um, her lover. What's his name? Um, Joachim Bitter Bitterfield. Yeah. <laughs> the junior now... apprentice from Altdorf. Apprentice, apprentice from Altdorf. Yes. An apprentice in prison. Is he in prison? Uh, I mean, weren't they weren't the guards oh, yeah. in prison him as the sun ran out as oh, yeah. they opened the door? Well, well, we'll get to that. <clears throat> Manfred ah. von Spottertime escaped from his cell and had been attempting to escape the prison when the guards opened the door and they burst out, up ran up the stairs, to which some of you followed in tow. To find the horrifying visage of the butt naked Manfred von Sponatime stabbing his father, Wilhelm von Sponatime. At that which point, most of you just turned around and just walked away. I mean, well, we didn't know who he was. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think. Yeah. A couple of us did try to stop him, and we kept failing, and then yeah. we gave up. Yep. Yeah. We, we tried to stop him on the way there, but now he stabbed him, and you know what? We don't know he's so once upon a time yet. I mean, he's just a random guy stabbing the dude but he to work for, so you know, we're going to try play. and stop. Someone did oh, say yeah, but... Anyway, uh, you have all reconvened at the bottom of the stairs. Understand. The hour is late. It is what one thirty in the morning. So I can't do my plan then. You can if you want. He's still up there stabbing him right now. <laughs> I mean, some of you better come with me just so we have witnesses. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with you. Sure. Yeah. Are you, are you sure <laughs> I was already there? I, I, I think this was my job. So yeah. <laughs> Okay. I, I guess we go up the stairs. I. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You walk upstairs and you walk in the room to find the butt naked man, like crying on the floor with a bloody dagger. Are you Ooh. okay, Monsieur? Uh, how, how do you want to play this guy? Is like eat him? Or... I think we should just try and restrain him. Well, uh, I thought I thought the whole group goal thing. Yeah. Yes, but <laughs> well, is our, is our, is, does he have he the struggles. third one, right? Yes. But Sorry, we don't what? all know that. Oh god, this is so stupid. Because Wait, what don't we know? Because here's the thing, right? <laughs> let's, 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 let's try and break this down. So, we have a group thing for a group objective or quest to kill guys of this surname. Not specifically but, that surname, just generally stupid surname. Stupid names, which that qualifies, right? Um, yep. Anyone with this but, bum name? Not a very are serious we, are occupation. We, like, we're kind of... I'm not saying this is necessarily bad, it's just an observation, but we're kind of also massively metagaming, because we probably don't know who this guy is either. Exactly. Well, some of us do, but oh, I don't some of think us do. many of us passed the Probably knowledge check or were in earshot when we heard 
who this guy was because as far as I'm aware we only knew there was a daughter which is why the family name is going extinct which is why we're fine with the marriage happening because it gets rid of a once upon a yeah, time yeah we don't yeah. have to kill her is we it? don't have to kill her we just have to wait for the dad to you know eventually die which based on the fact that he's old and now very stabbed should be fairly easy kind we of don't have to kill them while you're having this conversation, he twitches on the bed. <laughs> He's not quite dead. Good. Um, hmm. Right, who has the best <laughs> clerical abilities? Um, I like how you're just like literally standing there having a this conversation. Is, this is <laughs> a, a conversation guy bleeding out. in character. Okay. Yeah, no, this is out of character. Does <laughs> the, no in character. Does the madman we... still have a knife on him? Is he still I, I, armed? He's dropped it at his feet, but he's like crying in the ball you know, on the floor. Okay. I almost prefer that it's in character. We're discussing whether or not we're metagaming. <laughs> yeah, you see, Coltrack gets it. Coltrack yeah, right gets no. what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. You're just having That's... a discussion as a guy's bleeding yeah. out, and the man is naked <laughs> on the floor crying. It's a lot more comedic. Okay. Ingrid yeah. is going to try to charm this naked man into. Getting oh. away from the body of Let his, me open his sheet. Okay. Of his father, <clears throat> and the, she's gonna like try to signal to the others, like you go take care of him. I'm gonna try to get the naked man away. Uh, and so. Yeah. Are you I sure you want to get him away? I mean, we want him dead, right? Yes. Well, it'd be kind of bad if, you know, Why? the our host died on our watch. Uh, he's not our host. He's the son of our host. No, no isn't this the guy who's been stabbed repeatedly is our host. That's what I said. So the guy, yeah. the guy she's talking about getting away, is no, no. This, is uh, no, no. She's distracting the stabber so we can rescue the stabby, I, uh, and I failed my yes. heel check. Let, let, let me, let me, oh, let me assist. Oh, okay. Let me assist a, okay, a second. I get it. Uh, so if I'm... you have this man who is the host of the party, the father of the bride. Yeah. You have. The guy he said, oh no, son, and before he stabbed him, this man, the naked, hairy man who's crying on the floor. Flex, but okay. Yeah. Well, I guess what we have to establish here is, um, do, do, do we actually want to help these people or just kill them? Because I'm, I kind of don't care either way. <laughs> you can't like, walk away. To kill them too? <laughs> I mean, if anyone's to you blame really decided for... To wipe them out. If, if anyone's to blame for a host getting stabbed, it's the gods. <laughs> That's true, actually. You can hear you can hear some rustling coming killed. up the stairs behind you as some guards are like, you know, going up with their armors rattling. Okay, well Ingrid is gonna she's gonna try to talk to the, the sobbing naked man and try to see if she can in, get him away from uh to be the bleeding and dying man. To be fair, uh, the bleeding man might just die anyway. We've seen the naked man killing his dad or whatever. Yes. He's probably just going to get excused anyway. But here's where metagaming comes in. Does it count if we have? To, do we have to kill yeah. them? Or can the law kill him <laughs> well, and still get the XP? I don't know. That's yeah. why I'm saying Ingrid is Ingrid is just going to see what's going on, and she's going to see a potential threat and. He's not armed, and he seems to be distressed, so her instinct is just to try to at least extract him. him from the situation, and we can, you know, figure out the next step, but at okay. least get him away from the host, our host, so, because he twitched, so we might be able to save him. I mean, I, I have attempted a heal check and did not pass, mm -hmm. so... I'd argue at least masterminding the den side of people with stupid names is as valid as doing it with your own hand. I would also say it is a secondary long-term goal, not a current goal. Our current goal is to maintain the Baron's aliveness. Yes. And I feel like if we have some random fucking, like, crackhead running around the place <laughs> stabbing people, that's more of an issue because we're not going to get paid Wait. if our employer dies before we fi before the end of the wedding. So how about we say fuck the meta gaming and going? Oh, but what if we let them die? No, let's just do On the one thing last we're point, here to do that makes sense. One last point of meta gaming. Where where is your yes. where is your charge? 
That is all. Who fucking knows? Who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> now back, now back to the left out, the yeah. plotted hat. Ingrid, you yeah, approach no. the crazed yeah, man Ingrid, crying on the floor. There's he just, looks there's at a you, lot going on. dead in the eyes. You can see his like weird kind of stare at you. There appears to be, you know, not much going on inside there. Perfect. However, as he sees over your shoulder, the well-dressed people behind you in suits, he begins to be terrified again. I'm just going to just very cautiously, because, you know, I'm going to assume this is not my first time dealing with uh, a, a situation like this. Oh, I mean, God, who knows not. what... Who, <laughs> who knows what happens in those orgies Ingrid likes to go to? Um, also, Ingrid might just sense kind of a kindred spirit in terms of intelligence. Mm -hmm. And so she's just going to very, very, very cautiously, just like, all right, it's all right. You're safe now. They're not going to hurt you. You're okay. I'll make sure that they'll... It's all good. Doesn't really matter what I'm saying. It's more the time. It's like kind of like make, approaching a, make, you know, a scared dog. <laughs> make a charm test of plus 20. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> he is locked eyes with you and he's paying attention to you. Yeah. Yes, no, that's good. Here, come... Come with me. Come with me. I'm gonna get. We're gonna move away from the scary <laughs> people. There. It's okay. Yeah, he seems very terrified mm -hmm. of like Sigbert Meyer and Slumpy Azov. And... Yeah. So I'm just like behind my back. I'm trying to gesture for them to move away. As I'm going to try to slowly <laughs> encourage this guy to follow me. Not so much scared of Barnum. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not carrying a big weapon. Probably not as scared of <laughs> of uh, of uh, as of either, but uh, more scared of uh, Mr. Meyer and uh, Slumpy, at least. Okay, yeah. So, so I'm just gonna try to try to get him to, to follow me out of the room. You said he's not. You said he doesn't seem bothered by. Uh... There you go. <laughs> you said he doesn't <laughs> seem bothered by Azov. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh... hell yeah! That means I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm a uh, dwarf. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the racism oh, card. Point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. There you it, go. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, also, I imagine like insinuating to... I'm well dressed. <laughs> uh, as he walks by, I would like to, I would like to put my hand on his back and say, "Don't worry about it. The Kislevites made you do this." Would you like <laughs> to make a charm test? Oh my gosh, do not fuck this up for me. I will uh, kill you. Since he's completely, like, unstable right now, can I get a bonus to this? Yes, you can. You get a plus 30. Oh my fucking god, you got to corrupt him to do your yeah. dumb stuff. Yes, yeah, plus five. Mr. Azov also possesses the condition of stupid. You can speak <laughs> in stupid terms with this man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he nods at you with, with an annoying glance, and he goes, yes, fuck the Kislevites. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, whatever. Um, okay, I'm just gonna. Go, all right, do you do you have a name? Can you understand what I'm saying? I'm still trying to get him away from. Uh, apparently, as, as his you dad. take him outside the door, he like mm -hmm. says, M -m -m "Manfred." Manfred, that's a wonderful name. Where? Who are you, Manfred? Do you do you have a home? He he just says, "Father keeps me locked in the basement." Oh, now that's that's no good. That's no good. Have you had dinner? Are you hungry? He is very hungry. Yes, here, come with me. We're going to get you some food. Would you like some clothes? Maybe a cloak or something. You know, you're probably cold. He he kind of nods that he's cold. Okay, come with me, come with me. We're going to take care of you. We're going to get you some food, we're going to get you some clothes, get you all warmed up. We're going to make sure no one's going to hurt you. We're going to figure all this out, okay? He just, like, nods and follows you. Okay, yeah, so Ingrid's going to yeah. just... <laughs> just gently guide him down the stairs as the guards rush yeah. past. And... Yeah, and she's Ignore just going to... Ignore the naked man. <laughs> they just... Uh, they, yeah. they stop for a moment, they're like... That's weird, but okay, she has a dealt with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I have it well in hand. I'm going to yeah. try to take him and find, I, I don't know, probably take him down to the kitchens or something yeah. to get him some food and 
maybe filch a cloak or something from somewhere. Yeah. We'll come back to you and Manfred yeah. in a moment. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As you head down to like the yeah. So I've at least removed him from the situation. Yes. That's the important point. All right. Returning to the other four. You hear the guard, the sounds of the approaching guards getting closer. You have a moment alone in the room with this man bleeding out on the bed. He whispers to you, please help, help me. Uh, should we roll a dice? I don't know. The moonlight <laughs> catches the gleam of the dagger on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh? Wait, what's that mean? Whatever you want it to mean. Do you want to help him? Do you want to just leave? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this is Manfred who wants help? Uh, we no. His dad. His dad. Okay, yeah, well, we're we'll, gonna we'll help, help that guy because he's paying us in theory. No, he's yeah. not paying us, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> he's hosting, he owns this house, right? He's hosting the wedding or whatever because yes. he's the father of the bride. He doesn't pay us. The groom pays us. Okay. <laughs> so, so Stu, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through a couple of. Seconds. If you if the father of the bride dies, do you think they're gonna keep doing the wedding today? Uh, you, uh, you if know, they don't know about that, <laughs> I feel like Jesus. they're gonna find out. Well, Shall we just skip the him. autistic haha let's kill everybody meme and just you know well, I mean no. that's literally our quest objective <laughs> no uh, it's I'll a party also... objective it's not a quest objective it's the oh, however the you spell it is a thing. fuck these people with the stupid names let's not actually try and you know you know what you know what, you know what? Ourselves. I'm going back to my room you guys yep. deal with this this is cringe <laughs> Have fun. As you walk out, Sigmund <laughs> Meyer, you, you pass the guards coming up the stairs. The rest of you in the room hear the guards getting ever closer. They are now meters away from the doorway. Um, they might be concerned that you guys are the ones who who stabbed them. Just just throw that out there. Quickly, pretend you're helping him, the dying man. <laughs> we are helping him. I have. <laughs> I'm gonna try another heal check. You know what? I'll. Oh, okay, that's yeah. Right. yeah. You can, you can uh, do another bottom. heal check. Bottom's gonna jump on. <laughs> jump, just jump on him. He's not doing anything. <laughs> All right. Not literally. Oh shit, Bottom. Right. You, you, you remember? You recall? You have a a bandage, I believe. Oh dear. Yeah, I gave you one of those ages ago. Can I not use takes the over. I'm gonna quickly just say to the guards, Manfred got loose. And hope that they know what the fuck that means. As the guards and enter, you say this, and the guards so. just like adjust their color, like, oh shit, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, maybe he just ran out uh, past you? While you were uh, bringing in a prisoner? Yeah. Hmm? By the way, he's unarmed now. I think we think we've got him pinned down, but more importantly, uh, the, the guy I can't remember. But, you know, this guy here with all the fucking stab wounds, maybe that should be a priority. Yeah, they, they rush towards him and thank you for assisting and they take over. Cool. Our responsibility here is done. Yep. Right. We can't currently do anything about this. Uh, Barnum, do you want to stay and deal help with any Medicaid because you're better at this than anyone else is and we can go and try and track uh, down Manfred yeah, are you sure? we just have the barber do it? since he was a yes. medic yes. the barber yes, surgeon gladly takes over <laughs> okay he will be yeah. able to quit some barbarism and possibly some surgery he begins some humming a a, a jaunty tune if you have any spell ass or stick them in the wound <laughs> anyway right let's um, unless you particularly want to stay uh, to come with us, uh, shall we go and try and find where Ingrid has gotten to with Manfred and we can try and work out what the plan going forwards is because clearly something is amiss here and I'm having to be the voice of reason and it's not a good look for me <laughs> I need this character specifically to be a lazy asshole yes we're gonna go and find Manfred we're gonna go and get him 
secure, not necessarily captured or anything, just secure, so he doesn't, you know, try and murder more people. Because even if he has good reasons, you're not just allowed to murder people. It's for Azov. <laughs> we maybe uh, look into the barrel. Yes, we should also check in on the Baron as something is happening and this may be a diversion and I'm now having to think a lot and it hurts. So, we're gonna go and we're gonna talk to the Baron, hope that he's well, we're gonna make sure this wasn't a decoy or anything, and we're all gonna have a nice, hopefully relaxing evening and then watch these people get married or something. Or is we're that gonna tomorrow? go down to the Winchester and have a pipe. Wait for it all to blow over, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, Ingrid, as you walk into the Great Hall with Manfred, you find Baron Karl Heinz standing by the fire. The servants have taken <gasps> all the tables off. <laughs> Can I quickly, like, kind of turn Manfred away so he doesn't immediately see the very well dressed man over there? Mm. He, he already did, but he's like. He's like holding your hand. He's trying to, okay. you know. Okay, good. Fresh yeah. as all, Ingrid. Oh, how yeah. sweet. Yeah. 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 So hands with the naked guy. Yeah. Okay. The clock strikes two o'clock. In the afternoon two. or in the morning? In the morning. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm just going to make my oh, way no, towards the kitchen <laughs> while I'm holding the hand of this naked man. Mm hmm. And just kind of t just chatting away to him in very soothing tones, kind of just this babbling. Is we're aware. The Baron just says, "Oh, Ingrid, I didn't think you were into that kind of thing." Well, you know, it's always good to experiment, and so, you know, just try not to turn down anything that might just be kind of fun. And just <laughs> Ingrid is just babbling, whatever comes to mind. <laughs> Because she's, she's trying to keep Manfred distracted and, and calm. You're, you're better than this Ingrid hooking up with homeless wayfarers. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you know, every every so often you <laughs> need you need right. to let loose a little bit and just you know explore some of the more degenerate sides. You know, I'm sure you understand. Mike starts playing on a minstrel band. He's like, <laughs> so in regard to that, <laughs> um, perhaps it might be better that you. Uh, you know, being a employee of my family, being less involved with, you know, the Prince of Pleasure and all that kind of stuff, because uh, that's kind of a problem for us. Oh my, you know about that. Uh, yeah. No, no everyone that was... knows about that. The, uh, the <laughs> witch hunter declared it in the street of Null. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I was kind of hoping... Um, I had hallucinated that while I was sick, but apparently not. Um, yeah, no, i am been reformed. Uh, that was a, it was a silly mistake. I just got, I, I fell in with the wrong crowd, but you know, I'm, I'm making steps to, to better myself. Sounds like you're into an illegal Pokemon ring rather than, you know. <laughs> I know, Ingrid like is just... A... Trying yeah, to make her way across with with Manfred. <laughs> yeah. As you approach this door over over here, I I don't know where the I'm assuming this is the kitchen over um, here. <laughs> let me find the map again. Uh, I'm not sure. Whichever door is for the kitchens, that is where I'm trying I to go to as quickly as I can. The kitchens are already quick. Kitchens okay. are number ten. Kitchens are. Kitchens are the opposite direction. <laughs> Ah, hey, ah. wait. Okay, so yeah. I started from the other side, and yeah. I'm going. You took a wrong turn, okay. and, he, and the, the bar goes kitchens of the way. And yep. as you say that, six guys, like, like nobles, walk in in like fancy outfits. <laughs> the guy uh. is like extra <laughs> agitated and like holding on to you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. They're just. They're, I know. I I know. They're everywhere. It's very difficult, but it's okay. As long yeah. as you're with me, I'm gonna make sure that that you're safe. What, one of the gonna, nobles go. asks you as you're going past. Are you also heading to the cellar? Uh, in a, in a minute, I got a couple of things to sort out first. <laughs> make <laughs> a slanesh <laughs> cult check. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear, that's what they were. Hmm. Wait, what am I making? A slanesh cult check. Whatever Where is knowledge. That? In knowledge, some oh, Slanesh. Lore Slanesh? Yeah, Lord Slanesh. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. You you completely missed the uh the code words. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I did. That's okay. I'm a little distracted at the moment as yeah. I'm just trying to take <laughs> take Manfred safely to the kitchen. Sigbert Meyer, you kinda walk into the room as uh Ingrid and six Slanesh cultists, I mean, <laughs> nobles, are uh, <laughs> trying to uh, walk in your general direction. She still has Manfred in her possession. Okay. Um, the Baron is confused. <laughs> I'm also confused. I'm just going to walk to the fire and chill out. You just chat to him. Yep, yeah, that I mean, works for me. Ingrid's going to keep going. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll just make sure no one fucks with him. There you go. Yeah, come on, Manfred. We're gonna go uh, get some sweet rolls big. and some bacon and, and I don't what? know whatever else we can find in the kitchen. It's gonna be fun. Oh, well, this is gonna get interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna move you and Manfred up here. You've okay. gone off to the kitchen. You get him. Yes, some we have. All that. Okay. The rest of you, can you put all yourselves down here by the door? We're gonna switch into the DM layer for convenience. What? You could mm -hmm. put their tokens on the DM layer. Um, I might need them in a minute, and I don't want to be swapping yeah, layers, so I'm just going to put them up there out of the way. Yeah. All right, so the rest of you enter the room. You discover the Baron and Sigrid Meyer having a chat by the fire. You may chat to the Baron. Yes, that seems like a good idea. What are you guys up so late? Uh, That's a very good question. Running nude men across the halls. That is why. He's like, there's a lot of people chasing nude men tonight. I didn't realize you were into that kind of thing. It's been a day. <laughs> it has been a day. But uh, no, it's good to see that you are well. There have been some disturbances about the uh, about the castle, and you know, that's a lot of a lot of important people here. It'd be a terrible time for something to happen. But it's good to see that you're well, and we can get back to the festivities in the morning, I assume. Mm -hmm. I'm actually relieved to find out there wasn't uh, some uh, messed up, uh, out of control bachelorette party occurring with all the men running around. I mean, I mean, it might be, honestly. But... Also, you think you happy wedding? Happy wife, happy life, no? Uh, no, that's not how that works. Ah, <laughs> oh, fail. <laughs> so, Ingrid, as you enter the kitchen and get them some food and whatnot, those six nobles yeah. go down into the wine cellar. Can you make okay. a perception <laughs> test plus 20? They're complaining the whole way. Why is it so dark? Uh, so why is it so cold? <laughs> you hear nothing. Oh my, okay, that's fine. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm distracted. Alright, back to the hall. Bear in mind, at any point, feel free to interrupt Ingrid and return to the hall. Okay. Yeah, but in the time being, you're with Manfred in the uh, kitchen. Some guards will come and uh, escort him away to his cell. Have I? I wait. Manfred. Yep. Okay, but I've I've got him food. Yep. I assume I stole a cloak somewhere to get. Yeah, you him. can find lots of lying around. People were drunk when they went to bed. Yeah, so I've got, I've got him clothed, and I'm going when the guards come to take to take him away. I'm going to reassure him that it's okay. We're going to sort this out. Um, I'm going to give strict instructions to the guards to make sure that he has, you know, I don't know, food and water in his cell. I'm essentially treating him like a oh, dog. Oh yeah, the, guard, the guard's not in agreement, yeah. and as soon as you walk away, they strip the cloak off of him so I can walk away. Oh my gosh! You may He's need gonna to go feel with so betrayed! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go find him later and track him down and make sure I'm gonna be very upset with, with these them. guards. Yeah. Was do I see them the strip the cloak, or do they wait until probably, they're out you of? You probably don't. You probably with a, okay. with a fucking uh. perception test like that. You probably don't. Fuck. Hold on. Can I? I'm gonna. I, I have one fortune point left. I want to re-roll that. All right. 
I am committed to this poor hairy naked man. Well. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing in the game, boss? Mm-hmm. Since the mod should still apply, that's a SL plus yep. Oh yeah, no, they, they, I, I forgot they, that. They will put the cloak back on him and they will take him away back to his. Going to watch them very, like a. I'm watching yeah, like a hawk. <laughs> very, very um, mm-hmm. patiently take him away. Yeah, I'm gonna tell now, Manfred. Yeah. You let me know if they're gonna if they're gonna be mean to you because I'll come still, and I'll take care of them. T- technically, in the kitchen, you hear familiar chanting. Oh. Oh fuck! <laughs> it is coming from the wine cellar. Oh, Ingrid really wants to go take part, but oh, her boss is Make right there. Make a willpower there. test. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! How do I do this? That's weapon skill. That's willpower. Oh, my willpower is shit. Yeah, and I have no more fortune. <laughs> This is all completely up to you. That that test wasn't necessarily for anything other than how strong is her will to not want to go down. Oh, well, Ingrid's gonna go down. <laughs> um, yep. I mean, your fortune should refresh by default unless it yeah, refreshes every session. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. um, I, yeah. I have no idea how many fortune points I have. Yeah. Um, how many fate you have? Is... Let me have a quick oh. look. It's either three or four. Uh, let me. Let me open up your sheet. In the meantime, the rest of you in the hall, you can continue your conversation. With the Baron. How come he's up so late? <laughs> we, can I uh, ask Can him? you not sleep, Monsieur? Oh, you no, know, I'm too excited about that sword. I'm, I'm so happy to get it. Uh, you should be careful. Surely you are excited about your, your marriage. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur, Monsieur. internally sigh. Uh, three. Uh, awesome. um, there you go. I will uh, never yay. say. Spent one well, though, so it's two now. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> what was that past? You, sh- you should be wary of that sword, Monsieur. It oh. is very smoky, and there seems. Well, he, he like looks at the sword. He's like, it's not very smoky. What are you talking about? It might be cursed. <laughs> no, <laughs> might. I've Curses so- are, are metal. That, that sounds ridiculous. I'd be careful. I mean, I mean. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get triggered if I bring this up. I know I am, but I should probably mention it. Does this motherfucker, this educated nobleman of high breeding, Yes. Does he not know the magic exists in this world? Oh, he know magic exists, but he thinks that you're talking out your arse. Okay, he just thinks we're full of, uh, He thinks we're dumb. He thinks you're being paranoid. You're I having a read fair. about something Alex Jones talked about. Oh, He's right. like, what are you doing? He, he is, it's ridiculous. He, he okay, is we talking... need some facts and logic. We need to tell him where yeah. did the sword come yeah. from, do you think? You need to explain to him how the chemicals are turning the frogs gay. <laughs> sword might be Kislevite. You see, you see, Mr. Baron, they don't actually turn the frogs gay. The fix to the frogs trance. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, do we actually have more skills? That's a good question. I, I mean, considering he got this news delivered to him by probably the most uneducated and the most Alex Jones like in the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, a, if a fucking. French peasant told you this. I, I probably wouldn't believe him either. Your attire also has a factor as well. Quick question. Language magic. Mm-hmm. Could you say something in that or is it mainly just... When, when you cast magic, you're saying magical words. That's what that's for. Okay. Yeah. Could I say something in the language of magic without it having an effect? Like, like just speak in the language of magic, not intending it to have an effect. You could probably like do the thing where you see magical things in the room. Okay, yeah, now yeah. fit. Um, you you um, do your magic thing to see magical effects, and he's like, 
What are you, why are you casting spells? Is he noticing I'm casting? Well, if you're going to say words, then he's going to hear it. Yeah. Um, yeah he does. I'm not going to actually do a particular spell, but... Uh... Mr. Barnum, was it? Oui. Do you have a license for that magic? <laughs> Wait, mate. Yes. Uh, he he just kind of the... squints at you. He's like, wait a minute. I didn't hire you to be a magic man. I was... That's why I am not operating as a magician. However, it is part of my repertoire. I had a magic license in Brion. Oui. Mm -hmm. He's gonna bluff out his ass, because he doesn't have a magic a license. <laughs> yeah. I was a licensed magic guy for two. <laughs> I'm not, not licensed here, so I'm not practicing, basically. <laughs> oh, very good. Make a charm test. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see if you fucking bust it. You get plus 20. Oh, shit. I didn't need it! He he believes you. He's like, oh, shit, nice. That, that sounds absolutely 100% plausible. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking about magic in Bullion, so... You might want to get inquire for a license anyway, just in case, but that's probably fine. Ah, I have no intent of practicing here. What other spells do you have? Show me a spell. And he oh, takes that... another sip of brandy. Monsieur, that would be unlicensed magic. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you caught what? me. What? <laughs> I was playing a trick. <laughs> Where do you uh, have to go to get away? You have to go to the Magic College. Hmm. Uh, if you ever found yourself in Bayon, however, I could part this there. Ah. Perhaps we, should, we could plan an adventure there someday. Where do you plan on going after this? Good question. I'm more or less just following the path the world passes me. Where do all of you plan on going after this? To get my work. Perhaps Wherever. I could put in a good word with my sister. Careful. Wherever they hide. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've not run into many Kishlevites at the party. There was one. He is arrested. Make a Wait, perception what? test, Kopak. Perception? Alright. Perception. Any mod? You get plus 20. Feeling generous. Success you, plus 4. In the distance, you hear someone whistling. Kish the white chew. Mazov looks angry, turns that direction. <laughs> his his Kish the white senses are tingling. <laughs> Enemy, he says, and starts running in that direction. Yeah, in the direction of this doorway. Sure. Yeah. As it is coming from your your quarters. Um, My quarters? The the party's quarters. Oh, okay. Um, Ingrid. Yes. You enter into the cellar. Yes. The door is barred. <laughs> Aww. Can I knock? <laughs> and as you knock, someone unbars the door and peeks out. It's one of the boys. You can see over his shoulder those creatures, those beautiful, beautiful creatures that you have seen a few times Ooh. previous. It's quite a few of them, actually. Yeah, they're just super pretty. They probably look like mm -hmm. Katarina and Grinhilda. Oh yeah, and... <laughs> uh, everyone is just hooking up on the floor. It's just messy in there. However, one of the creatures sees you. Uh, Ingrid's gonna wave. And this time, the creature shrieks at you. Oh, that's. 
That's sad. Um, is this a terrifying? What kind of shriek is this? Is this a shriek that is going to make me think I should probably get the hell out of here? This one, in particular, it's very familiar to you. Oh, As it was oh one of your own creations. Oh! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> She begins oh, no. rushing towards you. Oh no! Oh no! With a oh, claw no. in the air to, to strike you. Oh no! The in blood fact, is gonna drain. A couple from of them face. are also doing the same act activity. They are all rushing, oh, no. rushing you about to attempt to kill oh, you. Oh no! Oh no! Ingrid is suddenly realizing. Oh shit! Oh shit! That that lie I told the Inquisitor or whatever. <laughs> might have been a little bit more truthful than I realized. Ingrid's gonna very quickly try to escape and just fucking bolt from the kitchen. Or are you heading to the hall? Yep, I'm just gonna yep. go back and rejoin my buddies. Alright, you can j drop yourself down over here. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm going to, as soon as I get to the hall, I'm going to try to very coolly just walk casually and chill like I'm not getting chased by horrendous monsters that Oh. Probably recognizes me being the like one who sold the test or something like some sort of yeah. deception. Yeah, even even acting, entertainment acting, if you have it. Uh, I don't think so, but I'm gonna do a charm test. Charm because... test to try and casually walk in as if nothing's happening. Yeah. 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 You casually <laughs> walk in as if nothing's happening as Azov runs to the f uh, f far door. Yep, I definitely wasn't caught, almost caught by some demons who recognized me as the one who sold them out. Yeah, totally cool. Totally cool. All good. All good. How's yep. it going, guys? All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, did anyone else react to me saying enemies and running off? Uh, I don't know. Are they? I mean, Ingrid... I'd probably follow you for that. Okay, Ingrid cool. was too focused on just trying well, to be there, casual. Everyone, everyone else was with me when that happened, and then the scene transferred, so I thought it would be relevant to find out who else wanted to follow. Yeah, and as you head for that door, following? like, uh, yeah. let's say six. Six demon heads burst through the door. <laughs> oh, dear, Ivan. These yours? There we go. Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> well, well, I think it might be time to head to bed, guys. Yep, time for bed. Time for bed. Time for bed. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> no fuck! <laughs> Would you like to roll initiative? <laughs> no, but I will. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> So, boss. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> how, how chaos works is. Uh, <laughs> you might have been affected by a demon without realizing it. Oh my. And then you named it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> my name, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> this is a it is also pissed idea. off at you because uh, you pissed off Slanesh, so. <laughs> Fucking oh, make a dear. demon. Oh dear. <laughs> is that everyone? I've made bar? a whoopsie. Uh, not exactly. <laughs> Let me find the bar and sheet. Ingrid just gonna be like, oh fuck, where'd these come from? <laughs> What are these? What are these? The rest What's of you just on? see a bunch of beautiful women just walk into the room. Ah, uh, so Ingrid is <laughs> quite very obviously panicking. Yep. Mm. Oh, actually, Pasta, you see with them before they really are, don't you? I uh, hope so. 
Yeah, you don't I see beautiful it. women at all. You see fucking hideous fucking creatures that just walked into the room. <laughs> Why are they so thin? Yeah. Let me remove Manfred. He's off here. All right. The creatures burst through the door. And, uh... You know what? They are going to... Rush. Uh... They're gonna rush towards E. No deal. Now, now! I have no need for prostitutes! Um, can I get a cool hey. test from everyone? Oh, dear. Uh, dear. Uh, am I present? Yeah. Nope. Before you We're open just... the door to leave, these these creatures burst in. Any from monster? the other door. Yeah, from the opposite side. Is that a neutral cool test? Yep. I am not cool. I'm very not cool. Plus three. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mr. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a fortune point mm -hmm. since I have more than I thought. I'm gonna try that again. <sighs> ah, that's better. It's gonna make note that uh, let's use a red one instead of a number because I can't quite see it on that background. Uh, Mr. Azov, uh, Miss Ingrid, just for consistency, I'll do the same. Who else succeeded on that? Okay, just you two. Alright. These fucking strange people have appeared, shall we say. And they are not looking happy at Ingrid. <laughs> and they have descended upon you. How? Hmm. Ingrid definitely doesn't know who they are. Or so she claims. <laughs> She's gonna die on that hill. Yep. Hopefully that's not literally. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna sla start slashing at people. The one that slashes at Sigurd Meyer, he miss she misses. He, she, whichever you prefer. It is your preference. Um, she misses. Mr. Pastafari. Did you also succeed? Uh, on the cool test? No. There you go. Let me take away the red circle. I don't know how that happened. Um, I need to do one for the Baron as well, but in a second. Uh, the second one attacks you. Can you make a dodge and or some sort of defense test while I try and find the Baron's sheet? Yes. Let's roll I feel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Sorry. Yeah. Initiative. My, my bad. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm gonna try shield. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna. Give me a I second. Do how that. do I do? How do I do shield? How do I defend? Use I the shields from the weapon list rather than the armor list. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I don't have shield on here. Oh. All right, I'm gonna dodge. Yep. Cool. It's probably about the same anyway, so it's fine. <gasps> yep, you dodge out of the way. I was gonna say you get a plus ten, but yeah. Actually, I think you get a degree of success. That might be easier to give me an, to give you an extra degree of success rather than that. All right. <clears throat> the one that is about to attack. Uh, Mr. Azov. Mm -hmm. One is about to attack you. Okay. Uh, that is not the sheet. That is the sheet. Make a dodge or some sort of attack. That's wait, some sort of attack? To to defend yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will dodge. Yeah. yeah. Any mod? Uh, you, I'll just count it as a degree of success on on top of it. Rather than a mod, so you get two degrees of go. success as you like, like fucking Matrix 
beneath the uh, the blade. Nice. Or the claws. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Copperhead. One is going to attempt to attack you. Would you like to defend yourself or dodge? That's a good question. Against five degrees of success. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'm gonna risk dodging. Let me just swap these two around. No! The wrong way around. Yep, yeah, you take a hit for 9 plus 5. You can reduce yeah. your armor and toughness from that. Um, so you said how much was that, sorry, that I got a hit for? 9 plus 5. Is okay, so 14, 14 on 14. which bit of me? On your left leg. 14 left leg. Yep. I have an armor of 1 on my legs, so that's good. I'm oh, sorry, 2. Excellent. So I take 12 damage. Just about managed to not get your legs severed, apparently. <laughs> yep. My hit points. You took 12 damage out of it, was it? Yep. There you go. Let me make that visible for everyone. It is. Okay, cool. Um, who's next? Uh, Sigbert Meyer. A bunch of. A demonette just charged you and missed. Uh, slash at you. How do you respond, Master Stu? Oh. That's the question. Um, uh, fuck me. Um, that's probably what they want to do, Lamo. Um, right. <laughs> uh, hey. Jesus Christ, I can't load this rule book now. That's just making my day better. Uh, I'm trying to get the rules for uh, shooting while engaged. I don't think you can sh shoot with a two-handed, like, ranged weapon. Not of a long I, arm, at least. I think with a pistol you can? I don't think your weapon's either loaded, either. I mean, that's a whole separate other can yeah. of worms that we could get into another day, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll do the boring thing and just draw my sword. Mm -hmm. And try and kill this thing. Well, yep. I'm very demoralized right now, both in game and out of game, so. <laughs> Make an attack. Let's see how this goes. Yay! Okay. Some. Yeah. You hit the creature for four damage. No, 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 that's, that's not how we do this. Minus the toughness. <laughs> no, no, cross, cross. Yeah? I'm sorry, fam. I was. We need to actually use the weapon and everything, so... Oh, you didn't use the weapon? Oh, you didn't? Okay, you no, just did a melee. No, I'm not, sorry, I'm just not in a good mood tonight for a bunch of reasons, and... Yeah, I'll... I'll roll damage... Right, I'll just... I'll write out the damage it's, for you. It's your strength bonus. It's... it's... I know how it works. Hold on a minute. What's... Accessible four, that should be. So, my apologies. Mm -hmm. So, it is 11 damage reduced by armor and toughness or whatever she has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's poofed away. Poof. Oh. <laughs> that will be my turn. That is quite a lot of damage. Ingrid. Yes. Cindy. Has attempted oh, no. to strike you and missed as you were really quick on your shield. <laughs> yes. How do, you, uh, how do you respond? Uh, uh, oh, are you going to oh, face your demons or are you going to run away? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, 
Carl Hines is still there. He is watching. He's giving you a thumbs up. What's that, <laughs> what's that mark that uh, Ingrid and I have on us? Uh, that is a, a bonus success level. Because you have a slight advantage. Because oh. you, you kept cool as, as the creatures came in. Yeah, oh, I got a bit okay. confused about yeah. that. I thought it was for the ones of us who yeah. failed. Yeah. Okay, well then... <clears throat> um... Normally you get a plus 10 to the roll, but instead I'm going to give you an extra success level. Because it means you'll do more damage rather than be more likely to hit. As uh, okay. you're kind of outnumbered, so I'd rather you do more damage. A, doesn't plus 10 on your roll automatically improve your success level? As well, yes. I think it's all included on the... Yeah, I'd rather you do more damage. Well, I mean, if you get a plus 10 to your roll, wouldn't that automatically raise your success level? I think it's already included on the roller, if it's yeah. relevant. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. so well, I would account for it level. anyway in my end. Not, um, okay. Anyway, um, I'm yeah. going to Scimitar, because although Ingrid yeah. kind of doesn't want to, she she can't look too cowardly in front of her boss, so yeah, she's going to try to Scimitar the bitch. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was just it was really exciting for me. Where did you get her? The right arm? You just severed her right arm. Yeah, Ingrid's gonna look a little bit surprised by that, but be like, yeah! She, yeah, she, she looks that. at her arm and is like, ooh, oh damn. Oh, you know what? You know what? <clears throat> Can you roll a d100? Yes. I'm gonna use critical wound table. Uh, got an, eight. an eight. An eight. That's uh, further up. Jared arm, your arm is Jared. Attack and drop with. Yeah, so you severed her arm. And she gets yeah. an additional wound on top of that. There you go. And let me just put a little hand symbol on her to say that she doesn't have a, a hand. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Alright. Ingrid meant to do that. Slumpy Copperhead. Whee. Oh, I'm already in combat, so this makes this nice and easy. I forgot to include the extra success level that I said you had. Oh, actually, mm -hmm. before sorry, before I end my turn, Ingrid yeah. is going to shout to Azov, "They're all Kishlavites!" <laughs> That's <Yeah. so> angry, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Slumpy, the pretty lady who attacked you. You strike back at her for yes. thirteen damage, and you fucking kill her. You're dead. Become dabbed on fought. Yeah. <laughs> She's dead. Congrats. Is that your turn? Yep. Fair. Yeah. Hmm. We'll now turn at least to assist uh, Asshole, but yeah, that's about it. I don't know why Carl Hines' number is zero, because I rolled for him, but never mind. Carl Hines is going to be like, oh shit, oh fuck, oh no. And he's going to attempt to assist Barnum over here and strike at the woman with his blade. I don't know. I guess he's not married yet, so fair enough. Mm -hmm. For 12 damage. Let me see. Do -do -do. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay. As of. I think you skipped me. Did I? Yeah, Barnum. Your turn. <coughs> I don't know how it skipped over you, but it did. Yeah, I, I just saw it after. A yeah, you're right. Um, you should have been before the Baron. I guess Barnum is gonna hit her with the ugly stick. Good. Which is to say, the ugly sound. Yes! <laughs> fucking yes! It actually fucking worked! The ugly sword. <laughs> you hit her, hit her for four damage. Fuck. 
Begone, uh, thought. <laughs> the creature hisses at you. Wait, I was not the one who summoned you. Ah. Who said they were demons? Who said they were demons? Could be either demons or prostitutes. Carl Heinz turns Ingrid... to you. I believe. Yeah. What? Troll. Ingrid just shouted that they were Kislevites. <laughs> yeah, that's she what did. I was thinking. Demons, Kislevites, prostitutes, all the same. As as <laughs> Mr. Carl Heinz strikes the the Kislevite, he shouts out to Azov, I see why you hate these cre these these people so much. <laughs> Mr. Azov, okay. it is your turn. I don't know if there's anything relevant to the fact that we're both adjacent to this enemy, but anyway. Azov, punch! Uh, where is the. Yeah, knuckle dusters. There. That's right, you got your knuckle dusters on. Any modifier? Uh. Plus 10. Fifteen, I guess. So, coat rack. Yes. You punched a demon eight in the right arm. Yes. And you hit her so hard, she just like, vaporizes. <laughs> Be gone, uh, Kislevite! <laughs> oh my god, you just punched the fucking demon eight out of existence. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> uh, Candy is going to take another strike at you, Ingrid. <laughs> With her one claw. <laughs> and fail. Yeah! Uh, the demonette over here is going to take a strike at Carl Pines. And fail. This one is going to rush in and also take a strike at Carl Heinz. And also fail. Yeah! Bitch! Sigurd Meyer, it is your turn. Uh. Hmm. I'll, I'll just maneuver in here and make a wee sword cut there. Mm hmm. Uh. Let's see. Probably is group modifiers, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I don't have them to hand. Uh, you probably don't need it anyway. Well, it, it might have made me hit, but whatever. Uh, I'll use a fortune. Why, why not? No, never mind. Okay, you missed. Um, is that your turn? Ah, uh, that's all I can do. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Ingrid, it is your turn. Okay, um, Ingrid is feeling more confident now that she's managed to uh, remove the arm of Candy there, and the rest of them keep missing, so she's going to sword. Mm -hmm. That's par for the course. Um, yep, okay. <laughs> That's all she's got. She tried, and she failed. Okay. That is... is that your turn? That is my turn! Uh, Mr. Copperhead, what would you like to do? You! Yep, as you rush the apparently mm. armless leader and strike it, it's gonna attempt to dodge. And it, it falls over, <laughs> trips on the carpet. Lad's face first as it reaches out its non existent arm to break its fall. Yeah. We strike it for. What? 8 plus 1. Yeah, it's. Candy looks at you. Ingrid. Mm hmm. We're not done yet. And then Mr. Copperhead Ooh. strikes her right in the chest and she phases out of existence. That is one of our silly prostitutes. 
Yep. Is that your turn? Really? She just disappeared from existence. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. No, my my turns are nice and simple. You weren't kidding when you called them demons, even if it's a speak or speech. Barnum, it is your turn. We do of them are attacking Carl, Carl Hines. Hello! Do you want to meet the ugly stick again? You want to meet the ugly stick again? She just hisses at you. Ah, come on, ugly. You cannot be that salty. <laughs> the ugly stick misses her. Yep. And forces. And... You know what? No, let's not do that. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Karl Heinz is going to attempt to strike with his rapier again. And he lands a hit. Uh, let's see. She's going to try and dodge. And fail. So she gets hit for 7 plus 5 is 12. Uh, there you go. Mr. Azov. Mm -hmm. Is it back to me? Uh, yep. It's just the two left, right? Yep. Okay, then Azov, charge, punch! Come over here out of the way. Any modifier? Uh, plus 10. <laughs> She's going 15. to attempt to dodge. You you fucking land a hit on this one, I assume. The yes. Let me just move her over here. <laughs> Is she faced as her existence as well? Be gone. Yeah. They all bear the talent unstable, so when you kill them, they disappear. Nice. All right. Candy is going to turn to you, Mr. Barnum. Or, not Candy. This this one. You got me scared there for a second. That is represented yeah. by Candy's name on the list here. Uh, yeah. It's going to strike at you. Oh, dear. Would you like to attempt to oui. fight back or resist? Uh, le dodge. You manage to <laughs> jump back, however... It is not yeah. enough, and you take 9 plus 6 damage, uh, which is 15 damage. A deal. Really? Let's see. Did you just oh, get yeah. knocked unconscious? <laughs> yeah, I got knocked unconscious. Um, so, how that works is, you're not knocked out completely, it just means any more damage you take will now count as critical wounds. Well, actually, I have 1 AP, so I'm not completely knocked out. I'm a 14. <laughs> You're at 14? Okay. Yeah, I actually have one layer of armor. You have one hit point left. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I miscalculated. I thought it was 15. That's fine. No, um, no. Uh, I, I, I have one point of armor. That's why. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Sigbert Meyer, this yeah. guy has almost fatally blown at your, your mate there. Ooh. -oo. <laughs> the, the Frenchman. <laughs> he almost killed the Frenchman, cut his arm off, or she almost cut his arm off. Oh dear. How do you respond? Uh, if you consider him a friend, you get a plus ten. Uh, uh, from the friendship <laughs> magic. Oh, our friendship. <laughs> the fucking power of friendship. I'll add that as a plus ten because as a. As a, as a soldier, he considers them all his friends. <laughs> oh shit! The friendship <laughs> magic. My side is my friend. You strike down at its body, apparently. And you you stab her in the chest. How would you like to finish the fight? Na, 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 would you like na, to describe na, it? Na. Um, I'll just plunge it right in her fucking degenerate heart. Yeah. Would just, you like to say something as you do it? No. No. <laughs> I'm too cool for this. She looks you dead in the words. eye 
and shrieks at you, Mr. Sigurd Meyer. And she phases out of existence. So... We don't tell anyone these happened, boy. We? Nope. I agree. Yeah. Uh, nothing happened. Oh, you can hear more outside the room. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Uh, Alright, yeah. not bad. <sighs> yeah, I'm... But the, uh, the guards are dealing with them. I am uh, going still... to use heal on Barnum. Uh, I would still like to deal with the uh, the, could... the source of that, 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 that horrible music I heard earlier. The Slavite whistling? <laughs> yes. Yep. Then I am heading that direction. Are you healing yourself, Slumpy, or Barnum? Barnum. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm getting some assistance. Yep. I'll heal him in turn. Barnum, you gain two hit points. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm Slumpy, you lose three. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, dear. No, it's fine. Uh, actually, can I use a fortune on that? Yeah, you can. Yeah, let's do that instead. <laughs> you, Seems... you go to heal him with your dagger and you stab him. <laughs> There okay. We go. Both of you yeah. recover two two wounds. After realizing we don't need surgery, he just puts away the knife, not picky stabbing. Okay. So, <clears throat> I need to swap to the other book. Mr. Kobrak. Yes. As you enter into the hallway, you smell something weird. As and as you approach the doorway of. Like the rooms, your your uh, your rooms for the night. You notice that one of the doors has a mist or a fog or some sort of weird miasma coming from within, and it appears to be the origin of the weird smell. Must be burning. Someone beat me there. Oh well. <laughs> Who else was going with him? Was uh, was it just him? Um, thing. Ingrid's going to bed. Yeah, yeah. Bottom's going to bed. Ingrid is done. <laughs> As you go to go to bed, you also see this, smell this weird miasma and see this weird fog coming from within. Maria, I, mean, I just go back done. to the group. I just kind of went back to the group because, you know, it seemed like the problem was dealt with. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... It's coming from what room? Maria Ulrich's room. The Baron's sister's room. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm gonna suggest then that, uh... Uh... Sigmund Meyer looks after the Baron and Barnum, and I'm gonna take Ingrid to go and investigate. Uh, You're coming with me, Ingrid. Okay. okay. I'll follow seeing that. Oh, and wait, I guess we we're gonna go. go investigate. The whistling. Well, I can't barge into a lady's room on my own. The the horrible whistling of uh, the Kishlevai appears to have stopped. Is good. I'm gonna need a lot of uh, a lot of wine for the lady. I realize. Yep. So you, who's approaching the door with the fog coming out from it? I am. You? I wait outside. I'm behind the her ladies' room. Alright. How about you, Sigbert Meyer? Where are you going? You're staying with the Baron? Yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's standing. He's going to stand over here at this doorway and watch them go into the room. It's like, oh, what's happening? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. like, My lady, you okay? So Seems you enter the room, the barbecue, so. You find a weird fog about this room. So I like to make some sort of per perception test. Uh, sure. Yeah. Is this something Barnum could notice as well? Barnum, you get a plus twenty to investigate this, <gasps> uh, to do like a perception in here, oh, damn. or some sort of investigate to the room. Oh fuck me. Barnum, you know what this is. I'll get tell you what it is in a moment. Oh shit. Ingrid. So you enter this room. There's a weird fog about the room. There appears to be a shape slumped over on the floor and a bloody dagger lying next to Marie Ulrike in the bed. As she is fast asleep 
Oh, However, she's fast asleep. You notice. But the fog kind of makes you a bit drowsy. Barnum, you are familiar enough with plants and herbs and witchcrafty related things to know what this is. This is called Moonflower. Moonflower? Yes. Mm. It is. It only grows in Lower Lord Forest. It is often used by humans. It's a an elvish thing. It's often used as like a medicine. It's basically oh. ether. Okay. Yeah. Used for like medicinal things if you're doing a surgery or something, you'd use this to keep people asleep as, or as an anesthetic. It's often used during the Black Plague as well. It's morphine. To uh, ease the, uh, oh, the burden dear. of uh, some people who are suffering from it. I see. Okay. Well, it seems, uh, dear. This is the off the baron is uh, dogged. Who is entering into the room? Um, Ingrid stepped into the room. Can you make uh, a um, we'll follow? Uh, Ingrid, can you make a minus thirty willpower test? Barnum, uh, do the same. Dear. Well, fun. Minus thirty was it? Minus thirty willpower test. Oh dear. Yep. Don't hit the fucking Ingrid. Don't hit your... <laughs> Would you like to shout one last thing before you fall unconscious? Fuck! And then you fall unconscious. Yep. <laughs> Barnum, would you like to shout one last thing before you fall unconscious? That's move flower. So, huh? Mr. Azov and Mr. Slumpy, you hear Barnum. And Ingrid slumped to the floor and collapse as Mr. Barnum shouts, Moonflower. Okay, uh, I'm going to play the card of Law Riverways and see if that gives me any context as to what Moonflower is. Other than just, it's clearly something that knocks people out. You've seen it as a trade good now and again it's not like a popular like it's not like one you'd see often but you have seen it be included in drug shipments for pharmacies and apothecaries mm. you know it will knock people the fuck out cool I'm going to take the uh, the hammer e bit or rather the hooky bit, sorry, of my uh, halberd, mm -hmm. and just try and kind of start dragging them out of the room. <laughs> um, I'm then going to ask Mr. Azov if he could take one of his javelins and open a window for us. Uh, I, I don't have javelins anymore. He took them away. Well, improvise! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, somehow open uh, a window. Hmm. Do you I know what? You know what? Cross, hold your breath. And go and open throw. it. Cross, Just hold there your breath. Be anything I can throw. Uh, you could probably pick up a shoe and ch chuck it. All right. Just <laughs> <was> a shoe. <laughs> Don't make a ballistics test. Make <laughs> <laughs> uh, a flat sure ballistics is. test. It'll be funny. No. Oh. You like toss a shoe and it like hits Maria Rookie in the forehead. <laughs> She doesn't wake up. Hmm. Not a good sign. Okay, right. I'm gonna check they're okay. You hold your breath and open the window. I'm gonna throw another shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> You, uh, you go to throw a shoe and it like falls backwards out of your hand on the floor. Ah, which means it's still there, so I can throw it again. You can pick it up. Oh yeah. my gosh! I am gonna declare fuck it. And, hey, critical uh, success! Oh Great, shit! You I break a window. Yeah, you like smash a window and some air starts to fresh air starts to come in. Oh, it's 
good because I haven't got any stats written down for this. Yep. Uh, Let's just pull your pistol out and fire off a shot randomly. Yes. Wait, what? I hey, need to attract thing? people urgently and don't have time to go and get people. Alright, you fire off a shot. Apparently it's just the powder and not the actual charge, so, uh, you know. Alright. Whatever. Yep. Summoning <laughs> has happened. So, people Secret Mire, getting better. as you stand there, you watch two people enter the room, you hear two thumps, then you suddenly see Mr. Azov chuck his shoes into the room, and then Slumpy fires off a gunshot. Okay, um, I'll just be like, uh, stay safe, Mr. Baron. <laughs> I'll wander down there. Mm -hmm. You reach the doorway, you look in, you see Mr. Slumpy try and pull out Ingrid and, uh, and Barnum. The fog seems to be less, and you can kind of get idea of what's... There's some stuff, like, on the floor. It's like some pamphlets. And there's a, a dead body that appears to have been stabbed. As well as a bloodied knife lying on the bed next to Maria Ricca. And a shoe above her forehead and a large bruise. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, is the gas dissipating from the wind? It, it is starting to dissipate. Okay, I guess my services are not needed. I'll come back to the power. <laughs> Alright. After a couple of moments, the guard, some guards will begin to arrive. And, uh, walk up to the Baron. And, uh, ask you, uh, Sigbert and the Baron what's happening. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm going to roll a test mm -hmm. um, to see, just just for the meme, Yeah. see how well I can fill them in on all the bullshit that's happened. Oh, I have Etiquette Soldier. Um, you do. Does that help me on the test or make the test? It does. Different? It gives you plus 10. Yay. Uh Make a charm test. I'll use language battle the plus ten, or should I use charm or something? <laughs> language battle language might work. Battle? Yeah. That's language cool. battle, basically to fill them in on the important stuff. Like, a guy was murdered earlier. Um, it's just a bunch of combat, like um, like lingo. Okay, I'll use a different yeah. test then. Um, tango down. Yeah, <laughs> tango down in yeah. the room. I'll use Char. Move about the baby. Contact That's... front, 800 meters. Yeah, the front. Yeah. Got some blue on blue here. Blue on blue, yeah. Uh, I'll use Charm with a plus 10 if that's okay. Mm -hmm. just to... Yep. Basically, to fill them in on all I know and be like, everything's fucked. They're probably confused, but whatever at this point. It's, it's... pretty yeah, foobar. They, they push past and they start walking in. Yes. <laughs> Alright, have fun, boys. Yeah. Mr. Slumpy, as the uh, the gas has dissipated enough that you can probably enter the room. I'm gonna cover you, my face. You have a badly. few seconds before the guards see what's in, in this room. Is there anything you would like to hide or change? Um, I'm gonna go and open the window properly. Mm -hmm. And then take a lungful of outside air and yep. hope it's better. How about you, Mr. Azov? Is there anything you would like to hide or change about what's in this room? I wasn't in the room, so... Well, you, were I, in the room. you can be in the room now, because the gas has dissipated. Mm. That might be a hint to look around the room and see what there is to hide! Or maybe recover your shoe. <laughs> well, it wasn't my That's... shoe. I, no, no, hold on. I asked if there was anything there, and you said I could tell that there was shoes. It was a shoe. <laughs> your shoe! Did you just take Ingrid's shoe again? I don't know who. Oh wait! Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that did happen, didn't it? <laughs> he stole her shoe and threw it at someone before. Why did, why did that happen? <laughs> I don't. Remember. I think she threw it at you at one point. She just oh, threw it at someone, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I gave it. I just kind of gave it back after you threw it at me. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you. Well, I'll give you the shoe that didn't go out of the room back. The other one's outside the room and possibly has glass shards in it. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, All well, right. Ingrid is unconscious, so it's fine. <laughs> yep. Well, two. Unconscious gun. Old Ostmark so. tale about shoe fitting. So you recover shoe the shoe, yeah? Fit. You grab the yes. shoe? Cool, you grab the shoe. So, the guards enter the room, they find a dead body on the floor. He appears to be stabbed. Maria Ulrika sleeping in her bed with a bloody knife. A bunch of pamphlets littered about the room. And a broken window. It appears to have been broken from the inside. This is not going to look good. Mm -hmm. After uh, about like 20 30 minutes, Barnum and Ingrid will wake up. Uh, uh, what the happened? The moon fell. Mm hmm. Fuck. It st was still in the room. If it's been that yeah. long, I would have retrieved and given her back her uh, slightly glassy shoe. <laughs> oh, went outside and got it. <laughs> Just gonna For take no it. For no apparent reason, there's glass in one of your shoes. It's also all wet. <laughs> Why is it wet? Because it's, I don't know, it was wet outside. He threw it outside, it landed in a puddle, probably. <laughs> 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 Alright. Okay. Thanks, Ingrid. You wouldn't know this, I already... <laughs> I mean, th this would have happened before you woke up anyway. Yeah, <laughs> she just wakes up. Full of glass and wet. <laughs> yes. Ingrid is very confused. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. But upon seeing you awake, Azov will proudly declare, Azov retrieved your shoes. You're welcome. Ingrid narrows her eyes and kind of wiggles her toe in her very wet and slightly glassy shoe. Huh. Why was it off my foot to begin with? I... Sa save your life. I take it uh, it might have been the window? One of the guards bends down and picks up the pamphlet. It looks horrified. What is it? Is it like... What's on the pamphlet? Also, pick it not up? bothered. Also, not read. There's a couple of them on the floor, so you can pick them up and look at it. I mean, Ingrid's Bond going to pick read, one up. But yep. if there's any pictures, he's up for it. Oh, yeah, oh Ingrid... there, there are pictures. Yeah, Ingrid's going to pick one up and pretend to read it. Yep. Likewise. Yep. Who can read? And that is looking <laughs> at the uh, pamphlets. I have an intelligence of 19. I don't think so. Okay. Well, the I people who are looking at the pictures, you, 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 don't, you can't read the title, but you see the pictures that it depicts. And you kind of get the impression very quickly as to what this is. Uh, uh, so it doesn't even bother looking at it. It's kind of just a habit not to look at paper. Oh! Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, well, so Ingrid's looking at this and like, huh, okay. You have no idea what it says, but there's a lot of porn. <laughs> Yeah, well, she's not. She's not phased by it. She just kind of flicks through it and goes. Oh, this oh. is vanilla shit. <laughs> Throws oh, it away. Yeah. <laughs> and these were found next to the. They're bottom, littered right? about the room. Yep. Oh, all around the room. Yep. Okay. Well, Someone was careless with their porn. You know, no, just no, no, chattered no, no. around the room. I oh. think we witness to somebody being almost assassinated by a born wing. The guard will turn to you cheap. and correct you. I think we found someone has been assassinated. What? Oh shit, there's a body! Ingrid suddenly remembers what she'd seen Why, when she nine. first entered the room. <laughs> As an aside, I would have done a heal check once the, the gas had cleared. I've just been drinking rather a lot and... Uh, mm -hmm kept missing things, so I was like, oh, I should say something, and then I go... He healing who? I'm gonna try a heal check on the, the body on the bed to check it is a body and not someone who is, you know... Oh, the person on the bed? Hurt. Well, Maria Ulrika is just sleeping. She is unconscious. Good. You get the impression she's been sleeping in the gas for quite a while, and... That's fine, though, while to wake that up. sleeping isn't dead. Yeah, That's however, the, the, dead, the person on the floor who appears to be dead, is cold, and, you know, has been bleeding, is, uh, is very dead. They are, they are oh very dear. dead. 
In, in fact, do you recognize who this person with the, is? With the heal tests like that, um, Skog, you could tell that this person was not killed in this room. However, guards don't know that. Tell the guards! Very simple. Gentlemen, where's the blood? That's what I was wondering. It's here on this blade. Yes, well, well done. Yes, Humans. we know who killed him. It's an open and shut yep. case. Job done. Right. Are you saying somebody who slept killed him? Right. What if you just fell and slipped? Well, it appears she's into some weird stuff. Maybe she Barnum. killed him and then, you know... Barnum. Barnum, it's no. very simple. How much blood is normally in a person? And where is it? Because it should probably have left by now. Someone, someone has moved this body. Re... Let me do like a, some sort of intelligence thing for the guards. Oh shit! They 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 figure it out. They're like, oh shit! You're right. Something's weird here. Yeah, I'm an authority figure. Get fucked. Yeah. Well, what what <laughs> explains all this? This, and he like waves this document at you. Wow. I think it did was the killer. Can honestly. I read? All People the have kid. their needs. There you go. None. That's what the document I, says. It, it says yes, the know, Prince of but... Pleasure, and it, there's literally no heresy in it, it's just poor. <laughs> if anything, this belongs to the person who was killed. Obviously, they were spread into one the womb, and then slipped and fell on their own dagger. Look, women have needs too, okay? Seems like self defense. <laughs> what do you mean? He's, he killed himself. It's obvious. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Maintain purity? I don't know. <laughs> As you all sit there discussing this, Mr. Azov, make a perception test. Okay. Yeah, you get a plus. If it's on paper, I wouldn't have even tried to look at oh, it. Oh, it's not even the paper. Sure. Just a plus, okay. I just it's plus a... 10 perception uh... test to detect Kishlevites. Oh shit, you find a, plus four. You find some fur off those wolf pelts that the Kishlavites wear. It's like Kishlavite caught in like, like tingling. Caught in like a uh what would you call it? You know like how a, how the wood will not bit a bit of a bit of a crack? And how sometimes if you go past it, it might catch a bit of like fabric or something. Yeah, there appears to be some like wolf fur caught mm. at about like shoulder height. So it was door. furries. Well, it could be furries, or it could be Kishlevites. Or both. One of those is far more likely. And as <laughs> of, you have the Kishlevite senses. Yes. You have detected there was a Kishlevite here. Is there any hint as to where that person may have gone? Or if it's one of the people here? They came in the door and they went out the door. However, you did not encounter a Kishlevite. I would like to follow the trail. Kishlevite detected. Mm-hmm. So you walk out the doorway into the hallway. You kind of look success. around. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I know. I, that was a question. I, I, I was uh, pausing for dramatic effect. Ooh, dramatic effect. Yeah. Nice. You like look around. You don't really see anything at first. You do notice. Well, I... After a few minutes of like, hmm, something's something needs to be here. Like, what am I not? What am I missing? You then notice that. Like a scuff mark on the floor? It's the it leads to your bedroom door. <clears throat> if he wasn't an unarmed fighter, he would draw his weapon. Mm -hmm. and Put your sure hand in your pocket and pull it out again. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> but it just puts on the knuckle dusters. All right. Are you implying that I take them off? <laughs> <laughs> How you, dare you? Do you approach your bedroom door? Uh, follow me, he says to friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ingrid is still trying to recover from the effects of the moon Well, flower. sounds like I got at least yeah. one person to join me, so uh, yeah, I, I, I enter. As you slowly enter through the doorway, 
No, not slowly. You kick in the doorway, alerting the you guards that something is happening. I, I, was, I was implying something in between slow and kicking yeah. in the door. But... All right. <laughs> As you open the door quickly, <laughs> and burst into the room, <laughs> you find... All right. Nothing seems to be amiss in the room except the windows open. And there is a rope... Like a bed sheets tied into a rope ladder going out the window. Hmm. I examine this side. And on, and on your bedside table is a note. Oh no. <laughs> uh, 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 Ozov uh, hands it to the nearest person who he thinks can read. What say? Who can read? I can read. Alright, Slumpy. You, I don't know if anyone else can. You read the letter, and it says... I totally can't. Be careful who you attempt to murder, friend. For Kislev. Make sure you finish the job next time. Demoblast sends his regards. Demoblast. That's one of the other guys. The guy who hired the previous assassin has hired a Kishlevi assassin who you encountered uh, and failed to kill. You well, also noticed the paper has been wet at one point and has dried out. Mm. 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 Yeah. You suddenly remember the Kishlevi on the boat that you pushed into this water. <laughs> Oh, mm. the drunk guy that I <laughs> that I got drunk and shoved into the river. Yes. I suddenly realized he might have been a plant the whole time. He was a dryad. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he might have been an assassin trying to kill, trying to uh, trying to get to the Moriel Rica. Well, uh, that uh, uh, changed. Uh, Ozov uh, declares to everyone that he prevented an assassination. He attempted to prevent assassination, however, he survived. I think an assassination he's... happened! And well, had... the assassin would have been here, so you're yeah. welcome. Um... No, you left a room with a dead body in it! I think someone got assassinated! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, but wasn't that body just some rando? Yeah, you rolled it over, and it's like one of the uh, nobles from uh, Reichland. You get the impression uh, that they were trying to set her up for another murder. And yeah. attempting uh, to set her up as a, you know, the Slanesh cult as she was declared to have been by the witch hunter. So well, the best I, I, I can would, do, is this anyone important? How fucked I, are we? I would like to uh, submit this as evidence that the uh, k that the Kislevites are assassinating Reichland no nobility. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, the guards are very concerned. Are you all just hovering out in the hallway now? Uh, Ingrid is going to try to find her way to bed. <laughs> Ingrid is tired. Ingrid just walks yeah. into your bed, or into her bed. Okay. Bottom well, is likewise retired to his room. Anyone who is sleeping. walking in the hallway right now, you hear the sound from the hall of people oh, leaving dear. this entertainer's quarters. That's fine. Uh -huh. That's definitely not suspicious. It is, it is 2.30. In the morning? Yes. It is so late, Ingrid is gonna go to bed. Ingrid is tired. Mm -hmm. And All right. just done. <laughs> Ingrid's gone to bed. How about how yeah. about you, uh, Sigrid Meyer? You going to bed? Uh I'm gonna quietly go to my room. Yep. Um if Shelly's asleep, that's good. Because I'm gonna just sit in the chair and doze off with my gun and a held. Yep. Just in case something does try and kill me at least have Somewhat of a chance. You're just gonna put the chair it's... facing the door in the corner and just yeah. load the gun and just fall asleep with it kind of low, low, low ready at the door. Yeah. All right. All right, Mr. Azov, what are you doing? Uh, well, you said we heard the entertainment door thing open. You heard people come out. Yeah. Okay. He looks over there. 
He walks up to them, says, Why no sing? <laughs> the <laughs> people from India <laughs> start talking in Hindi. <laughs> no idea what wait, they're saying. So, wait, 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 they're from India. They might actually be sing then. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, damn. They were attempting to sneak, however, failed. Um, Mr. Barnum, what yes. are you doing? I am sleeping in uh, my room. Go to your bed. The dog, hey. the emaciated dog, is sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Why is um, that? No, Ingrid will regularly go in to feed the poor dog. Just walks into Barnum's room every now and again to feed the dog. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. Fucking... Yes, Duke Burgundy. Yeah. He, he's gonna Katrina give Katrina has trouble. been feeding the dog and looking after it while you were away. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Bottom's gonna give him some kibble. Okay. The dog doesn't wake up, though. Um, Slumpy yeah, Copperhead. What are you up to? I'm gonna go and do the again, go around checking on all the guards. Check in on anyone who's still audibly awake and then go the fuck to sleep if nothing happens. Yep, the Baron will go in and see to his sister when she wakes up and help get her all cleaned up, clean up the room and whatnot, and then they all go back to bed. Mm. As everyone has gone to bed with the exception of Azov. Mr. Azov, you've approached the entertainers. Would you like to make a check of some kind? Some sort of perception test or something to try and figure out what's going on? Alright, fair enough. Yeah. Any mod? Even an intuition test. I think intuition might be better. Oh? Yeah, just flat. You never know, you might succeed. Perception is a modified version of intuition, I think. Could be. I will allow you to. Alright, uh, in which case, any mod? Just flat. Hmm. You have uh, no yeah, I'm idea. Gonna, I'm gonna attempt it again, because I literally never yep. use those Go points. ahead. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that last one and say you can, because before I could say this, you had already rolled, uh, you oh, can yeah. choose to automatically succeed with one of those points. Oh, really? Uh, yes. But it can can burn them up really quickly, which is why I prefer uh, you roll for it. But you can choose to auto succeed if you wish. Well, what do I lose if I do that? You just lose one of the points. So. Oh, well, I mean, sure. It, yep. This is a temporary loss thing, right? Not like yep. a permanent. Yeah, it's still a temporary loss, but you can All choose right. to auto succeed on it. But you get a limited amount of those anyway. So. You get the impression that these in the people are trying to uh, get into the guest quarters. And you recall, Eric previously, during the, during the night's festivities, you've seen them watching the, the lady with the massive jugs and her really big gem hanging between them. <laughs> Guards! Thieves! Guards! Thieves! <laughs> <laughs> People from India like, I do not know what he's talking about! This is, oh he is racist! <laughs> <laughs> you not kiss the light, me not mind your race. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being a racist, sir? Why? Why are you being a racist, sir? Please, tell me why are you a racist, sir? <laughs> Uh, also, oh, no, you wondering, you want to fight? I didn't do nothing! <laughs> I swear I did nothing! This man is a racist! <laughs> As they get tackled by the guards. <laughs> also, uh, he reveals his brilliant deductions to the guards. <laughs> oh shit. He like pulls out a deer, a deer hunter hat and like a pipe. <laughs> Alright. So, after foiling an attempted robbery, the night gets quiet as everyone has gone to bed. Fucking finally! Mr. Azov, are you gonna go to bed? 
I was of room not safe. <laughs> I was of thinking. There was a kitchen fight in my room. I can't ever go in there again. <laughs> it's contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> but, hmm. He's just going to randomly pick a room and sleep in there. Uh. Not mine! One, two, three, four. You roll a d4. Sure. Yep. Four. You walk into Slumpy's room. Okay. Azov sleeps. Do you lie down on the floor? Do you like cuddle in next to him? What are you doing? <laughs> Imagine he's gonna get there before I do, so... Yeah. He I might, thought you'd already uh, gone to bed. Occupy the bed. No, no, I had. To, I was gonna go around and check in on all the oh, guards you chatted, first. Oh, yeah. As you go, to, go, go to, to bed, bed. <laughs> fucking so as I was just in gonna. Your bed. As I was in your yes. bed. <laughs> <laughs> you you open the door, Slumpy, to find Azov's fast asleep in your bed. Sleep in his room, then. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And. Castle goes quiet until the following morning. Well, it already is the following morning. Until about five, the servants all get up and start making breakfast, and all the wedding stuff be starts beginning happening. Eventually, throughout the day, or at least the morning, people find out about some of the ongoing activities. Occasionally, you hear shrieks of horror as people happen upon, you know, dead bodies among the castle. I feel like we caught all of those, but apparently not. Uh, yeah. We may have missed a dead ones. body or two. There was a bunch of slanesh. I reckon while we were sleeping, there might have been a lot more dead bodies. There was a bunch of slanesh demonettes running about the castle. I thought they yeah. Were... Oh, true. oh, you mean people? You only dealt with the ones them. in the hall. <laughs> gotcha. Well, yeah, but the other ones were presumably there was being other dealt ones. with at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> the guards yeah. probably dealt with those at some point. I mean, to be honest, the guards here are too fucking lazy. They didn't deal with shit. The guard turns to you and just says, Hey, if you had to do put up on half this shit every night, then why would you? I, I am why not you saying work here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really desperate every for the night? money. Fuck. Then work as a fucking chef or something. Have you seen the taxes here? Yeah, on a boat. Go down to Nulm. I can't what afford the... it. It's like ten gold. Then just work as a baker! You're a farmer! I don't fucking care! You're not made out for being a fucking god! Get a job! For a get a proper job you can handle! We're going to hold a career seminar for all these guards! Can you make a charm test to hold a career seminar for the guards? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you managed to convince three of the guards to uh, jump ship and uh, follow you. Follow us? Oh no. Oh no, that. I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, I don't want these cunts. <laughs> in, in, in fact, one of, one of the guards is like very articulate and asks you if you would, if you require an aid, Ingrid. Yes. Yeah. Can you read and write? You can, yeah. Yes, that I'm, I'm, I'm. You're, you're with me. He is you're from Ostermark. I forget what his name is. Oh, you... his name, his name. Fuck, I remember this. Give me a second. Um, um, it'll, it'll come to me. At first, as of your, your Kishlevite thing tingles, and you realize, oh no, he is from my Sergei. homeland. Sergey, he's from your homeland. His name is Sergey. Yep. <laughs> Alright. More like Sergey, am I? Sergey. <laughs> Ingrid has now acquired an aide. Sergey of Ostermark. He is now your personal secretary. Perfect. Ingrid is happy because now she has acquired someone who can help her continue the show. The sham that she can actually read and write. Yep, he will do all the writing down and reading for you. Perfect. He might even be alright in a fight. Uh, an, an emphasis on maybe alright. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Yeah, no. But so. It's something. 
It is the following day, the wedding day. The wedding occurs. Oh shit. Um, I, uh, I need to find some wine. <laughs> Graf Wilhelm, once upon a time, he <laughs> spends the day like propped up on like a like a chair bed <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> As he's oh, been like, he's fine. Fake, he, he was really like good. stabbed multiple times in the night. It However, just, was, uh, he he should be. <laughs> <laughs> However, he still was able to attend the wedding for just about. Yeah. I'm glad to see he's dying, but not dead yet. <laughs> no, sincerely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. I need to read his, this final piece. The following day, the wedding will take place. If the bridegroom are still in the castle, the existence of Manfred von Karstein has been successfully covered up. Uh, oh, well, Ingrid at some point would go and check on Manfred. Oh, you know what? Um, the Baron and the um, Ulrika, Marie Ulrika, will summon you to her room. Me? Oh, fuck. Uh, all of you. Okay. And, uh... The Baron will explain how he is going to be, you know, living here now. And, uh... You are... Your services are not necessarily required by him anymore. Or at least for the time being. So he will suggest that Marie Ulrike will, uh... Take up your, uh, contract. If you wish to per continue in service to the Embostine household, does that work for for the party? Works for me. Um, what do you think? It's Are a we, job. Do you wish to work for the von Nibwitz upon a time family? Um, could you, you reconsider the name? Or do you return? <laughs> wish to return to Null and work for the? Continue working for the von Libwitzes, or would you like to go off independent? I'm I'm good with continuing with our current employer. We are all still alive, after all. So, when you say current employer, do you mean the von Libwitz family or the von Libwitz Saponentine family? Uh, I mean that's kind of subjective, honestly. Yeah. So Maria, I, I am good. Ulrike will offer you a job. Uh, she would like someone to track down and kill that Damenblatt's fool because he keeps trying to fucking murder her and frame her for stuff she's not doing and even breaking into her room in the middle of the night being creepy, leaving all this fucking porn everywhere <laughs> sending Understand. the witch hunter after her, all that stuff if you wouldn't yeah, mind, you know, tracking him down and fucking killing him, that'd be great because he's being a dick is this the Countess of Nuln or whatever? No, it's the um, the Duchess of, of uh, Bostein. Wait, okay, is this the lady who's we've seen before the opera? It is, but it's not the one you're thinking of. It's this one. Oh, yeah. The other woman that was at the opera. Yeah, His sister. she's like her sister or something. Yeah, kind of. it's the niece of, of the Countess. Yeah. She, she would like you to track down I could do an assassination job yeah, von Lammerblatt and, and try and kill him on the sly because he's being a cunt and won't let go of the fact that uh, his dad slipped and fell on the punch and drowned this man, she wants you to kill him yeah. I could give assassination or at least life. you know, find a way to gather information on him to get him you know, found guilty in court. Or... If I remember correctly, Damon Blast is the guy who we had to do, like, the trial by combat for. Yep. Or rather, against. Against him, yep. Ah. <laughs> now it's time to finish the job. If, if you remember, Coat Rack, it went rather well. Yep. Yes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's still bitter the that head. he lost the court case. So he's trying to, trying to kill her. So... Yeah, no, that sounds good. Yep. Ingrid, you are now aware that uh, Bricked Kavener, the leader of the Slanesh cult and Null, wants you dead. Oh dear, okay. Ingrid's gonna you not want to go back to Null for a bit. Yeah. 
Ingrid and Katrina are gonna stay away from Nuln for a while. Would you prefer to stay in um, Vogenhofen, or would you prefer to wander um, somewhere else? We're gonna we're gonna go join that assassination uh, quest. Yep. So that sounds like a great way to just kind of get out of town and for a head bit. Head back to Nuln. Okay, I see. Fuck no, 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 no! <laughs> I didn't realize they were going back to Nuln. Okay, yeah, no, we're not gonna go back to Nuln. We're gonna, we're gonna stay out of Nuln. Technically, let me let me find the map. He's not. It's not. Mission's not actually in Nuln. I don't have it to hand. It's in um, a city south of Nuln, in in um, Visenland. Um, oh, I, I know Visenland. I don't have a map to hand, but uh, yeah. So, uh, we can figure out the na exact name of the city later, but so you're gonna go on okay. that mission. Fair enough. That's yeah, fine. as long as we can stay away from Null. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, the city proper is that what you mean? Yeah, just anywhere that we are not going to get fucking assassinated by the Slaneshi cultists. Slaneshi cult is everywhere. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. So. Ingrid's just gonna do her best. <laughs> How about Sigbert Mar? What are your um, thoughts? Well, assassination job sounds perfect for me, so yeah, I'm totally on board with that. Mm -hmm. You got two boys to follow you around? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out what to do with them later, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> train them up to be chads. Maybe, but. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Azov? Yep. What would you. What was your take on. The jobs. Uh, I. You mean like, am I agreeing to taking the job? Yeah, are you okay with taking the job? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, how about you, Burnham? We. Uh, oui. I I could go for an assassination. Mm -hmm. However, depends on the price. I think it's time for assassination, but uh, yeah. Yeah, potato, potato. All right. Someone dies. And I, I think, how about you, Slumpy? You're, you're good with continuing that as well? Yeah. All right. I'm still alive, therefore my employer can't be too bad. Yep. Cool. So. You find yourself in Bogenhofen. Hmm. So being mildly annoyed at Brett, the Brett river Kavanagh. <laughs> yeah, Brett, Brett Kavanagh. I thought it was fun. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. There's a little fairy down there that puts people on the other side. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> just... You know what? Sigurd Meyer just keeps taking the fairy over back. <laughs> Yeah. Shelly's getting very pissed what? off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking boat. <laughs> Alright. So. Would you like... Oh, Lady Ulrika would also um, have another mission for you as well on your way back to... Uh, uh, you can choose to take this mission or not. There's a secondary quest to escort Manfred uh, von Spawn Time to the Fair. Hospice of Shalia at Furderheim, which is oh, outside okay. of Oh, okay. Ingrid, Ingrid will go on that mission. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. As okay. long as he can wear clothes, it's going to be awkward yeah. otherwise. And, and try and, you know, keep it secret that no one knows who he is. So you need to I go mean, through we Altos anyway. Know who he is, so. You'll need to go through Altorf anyway, so it's on the way. So, are we gonna kill him th this time, maybe? What you no! Oh. We're not gonna kill Manfred! No! <laughs> can, we, can we at least get him to change his name? Yes, yeah, Ingrid okay. will I'm talk him into changing his name. He All should right. be known as Karl Marx. <laughs> we'll just <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so you yes. are, and Karl Marx are gonna go on a journey <laughs> to Altdorf. <laughs> To leave him yes. at the mental mental hospital, yes. and then you're going to continue on to Null. Yes, except Fair not enough. the city itself. Well, to the to the region of Null rather than yeah, the city proper. Yeah, we're just going to. Okay. Yeah, we're going to, yeah. You're heading to the status start of Null, but not the city of Null. 
cool. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, I guess with one session to go, we have completed our penultimate session. Mm. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Any final messages? Remember to drink beyond beer and don't walk directly into move now. No, but you There's no such. Yeah. Uh, don't piss off the Slaneshi cultists because it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. Yep. How about you, uh, Kovac? Possibly literally. Uh, there, no matter how old, how young, how man, how woman, there's no innocent Kislevite. <laughs> Jeez. Any final messages, nice. Master Stu? Ah, uh, just uh, stay safe, everyone. Have a good, have a good one. How about you, uh, Mr. Pastor Fire? I have already said mine. <laughs> but, uh, yes, don't walk into Moonflower. Don't walk directly into Moonflower. Final messages, Skog. No. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I guess we will see you all next time for the final episode of some Warhammer Fantasy roleplay. Catch you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah.